take me back. Please take me back. Good evening, Mzansi, and welcome to Trending SA right here on SABC3. The round table is signed and sealed with all the top trends and topics. We are here to deliver the best Friday juice to make your weekend lit. I sound like loot right now. Wow. I <laughs> am the emperor of Umlazi, Maple, here to serve you. And helping me serve these trends is the gorgeous, recently anointed queen of Gebecha. Loot love. Proudly so, Reverend. <laughs> that GQ, love it. Oh my, but you need to lose the... <laughs> I just need you to relax on the... <laughs> we also have the man who the Madiba estate left him all the shirts. More flavor. <laughs> And let me tell you, the streets are going to see this shirt this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and on the Ford chair is the beautiful, fresh-faced TV host, news anchor, media personality, and the woman whose surname is associated uh. with studios across the country. It's <laughs> Abigail Fisahi. Listen, I was just about to say something nice, and then you had to agree with that. <laughs> It's a pleasure to be here, guys. I also oh. want to say thank you so much for inviting us to your wedding, guys. Yeah, I, I know. I know. It's so so wonderful. Because <laughs> do you know that? Do you know what TD says at the beginning of the song that played as I we cherish. enter? I cherish. I bless. I anoint the day. Oh. oh. Listen, guys, don't oh, get me into trouble. Right. <laughs> Please don't get me into trouble. Yeah, there's something, there's something, not yeah. knowing the lyrics notes. So I'm the hashtag Jerusalem a challenge had us dusting our dancing shoes and getting down to this global hit song. And earlier this week, hashtag Master KG popped up all over the timeline. This is after his record label released a statement. Now, this is a statement regarding the looming license fees from corporations who have been using the song to endorse their own products. Mm -hmm. I mean, take a look. If you had to use a song uh, at the background and, 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 and in, a, in, in, a, in, a, in a moving picture, you, you are effectively doing what we call a synchronization. In other words, the song is being synchronized into the movie picture. And in that particular instant, definitely uh, what we call a synchronization license is triggered and the uh, synchronization realities then become triggered. I know you're sitting at home right now. You know exactly what I'm about to say, and I'm going to say it right now. Social media was a blaze with fiery <laughs> and quick witted comments from tweets, and this is what they had to say. Tendo said, My thing is, they waited such a long time for all these companies to do the Jerusalem challenge, and now they're coming for them one by one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? And then this is what Depro Crump had to say. Master KG is ruining things for himself. Those companies helped him push the Jerusalem track. In future, no one will boop with his work done. And Mr. L said, Master KG can pretty much quit and live off Jerusalem until he dies. Sure, true. Where the money sure. was at. I know. I mean, the reside. point is that we all know that Jerusalem was the hit of 2020 for everybody, for every country. It broke international boundaries. It broke the internet. Of course, it's got an incredibly infectious beat as well. Mm -hmm. We saw families doing it. We saw workplaces do it. Hey, even our president, Cyril Ramaphosa, mm -hmm. jumped on the bandwagon as well. And I'm just thinking, what, what is it about this move? by Master KG and his team that actually makes this one for the books. Because if you think about it, this is quite big. It is massive. Even on the basis of all those tweets coming in, all of a sudden, if you are one of those companies who's been using my song, I'm coming for you. Okay. I think that's quite a move. As he should, though. As he really should. Like, it's one thing to be part of a challenge, but just do it for fun, right? Mm -hmm. Just between yeah. you, your friends, your family, even colleagues. But one, once I'm just like brand loot love, working for Loot Love Cop and then something, obviously that doesn't make sense, a whole ad. You're yeah. jumping on something that somebody else created. Yeah. So you have to pay him for the service. Mm. Doesn't it, Abby? Uh, you know what, I think there's a, a certain culture in South Africa of companies and corporates wanting, to, wanting people to do things for exposure, mm -hmm. you know? And we've <laughs> heard this time and time again, especially in the industry that we are in. Mm. And I think it's about time that someone says no more, mm -hmm. enough is enough. I'm going to do something about this because this is my work. Mm -hmm. This is my craft. I've mm. put my, my everything into this. I just so it love, needs to stop. I just love the fact that he didn't fumble the bag. Oh, <laughs> I love this that. This is how it's done. This is how it's done. Remember that DJ Leg and Will I Am thing? Yeah. I was just like, too soon, too quick. Uh. And do as the Marvin Gay estate does. They wait for you. Let the song grow, let it chart, let it be a hit, and then they say, actually, the song sounds like that song by Marvel K. So pay us. Master KG, thank you for playing it by the book. 
but also not you exposing your age with modern day <laughs> reference that none of these millennials Blood know. Bloodlines! Bloodlines! <laughs> Come on! So on that note, many of us obviously like running our mouths wild on the Twitter streets and carelessly post our racy images on the platform because we enjoy uncensored freedom. However, popular lip sync battle presenter uh, Chrissy Teigen got the best follow request from American President Joe B Biden, excuse me, uh, moments after he entered the White House. So this interesting tweet caught my I take a look at this. She tweeted and said, I have tweeted a handful of times since my treasured poet is following. But in order for me to flourish as me, I must ask you to please, Lord, follow me. I love you. It's not you. It's me. I enjoy her so much. I love her. She says Twitter. whatever she wants to say. Right? No fault or nothing. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love God. it. Well, I mean, I mean, this is a classic. And many of uh, Chrissy Tagan's fans were actually shocked by this request, naturally. And this is what some of them had to say about this one. Let's take some of these uh, tweets and take a look. So Q Vicky B says, Chrissy, if he followed you, he apparently appreciates your kind of Twitter. You do you, boo, mm -hmm. and appreciate that you might be giving him some entertainment. Mm -hmm. I... <laughs> Here's another one, uh, Julie London Ferguson. I think it's bigger than you. <laughs> you resonate with the American people and beyond. You're a great um, account for POTUS to know what clicks with the public beyond his ivory tower. In addition, let's face it, people have the posture in front of him he wants to reel. That's right? so true. He's a person after all. Mm, that is <laughs> so true. Oh, and look at that. Jamie Jackson also. OMG, this made me laugh so hard only because I can relate. I had to block my pastor on Facebook <laughs> because my social media self doesn't match the person oh at church God. on a Sunday. Wow. <laughs> but genuinely, I think like many of us can relate to Chrissy Teigen's dilemma where you either have like a family member mm. or a religious leader or a prominent figure in society follow your social media pages and suddenly you have to self-censor because your online persona doesn't match the person they actually interact with, with in real life. So with that said, I want to know, guys, who have you had to block or unfollow or just like pretend you don't have a Twitter account but you really do like has any of that unfolded for you guys who did you um i on whatsapp i stopped my mom from seeing my updates because uh it gets quite racy there uh, <laughs> oh on my twitter, god oh. no not that that that, that race. <laughs> what kind of racy on twitter on twitter i've just allowed anybody who has a twitter account should see me for me jesus is still working on me if you know me from church that's who I am wow. on Monday to Saturday. Oh. See you on Sunday during <laughs> praise and worship. See, I, I, I don't have those kinds of problems, right? Because in my world, I, I have such a boring life that, you know, I don't have to block anybody. You know, if anything, I recently just followed one of my like big, big bosses. And <laughs> I don't know where that's going to take. Maybe she's the next person I need to block. But Always Abigail, I, trying to secure the, the bag. That's the thing. <laughs> Following Master KG's footsteps, you got to make it, you know? <laughs> so what, what about you, Abigail? I mean, do so, you have uh, yeah. those interesting realities? Yeah, so for me, guys, believe me when I say both my parents are on WhatsApp, mm -hmm. Facebook, Instagram mm -hmm. and Twitter. Oh no. So now oh. during the pandemic, obviously our parents and, and you know older individuals are more at risk. Yes. So if I'm gonna go to a, a shoot or go have a, a cup of coffee with one of my friends, there's my mom in my DMs. Oh no. That was here in my cunt. <laughs> Virginia is COVID me. And I'm just like, mom, <laughs> can I breathe? And you can, know? Can you imagine if, if you do the silhouette challenge uh, and she sees oh, that? Oh, or the oh, buzzer oh, challenge. Oh, yeah, no, uh, <laughs> We have to talk about this. So you remember how Meghan and Prince Harry were said to have this 90 minutes sit down at Tell All, where all sure. the bits are off um, in that interview, of course, with the queen of daytime talk, Oprah Winfrey herself. Now, in the mother of all plot twists, dun, dun, dun. the one that deserves its own telenovela, <laughs> Queen Elizabeth is going to address the British public just hours before the sit down. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's a pity we don't have the actual really, tea, hey. you know, to sip on this situation. But really? I mean, this is, this is quite hectic. What, what do you think, you know, the world is going to make of this? What do you think the royal family and the royal house are going to say? Don't believe them. I mean, I think it's them. quite dramatic. I think the first time we don't believe them, don't believe anything they say. They're lying, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> My thing is just, it has to be something major. Because when is the last time she addressed mm. the British nation? Were we even, was I even born? Will was we, I alive? I, we, we I've see, never heard. Will we see Prince Philip? Because we haven't seen him in a while. Maybe Where that's the he? announcement. Maybe that's... <laughs>
Loot, that's so dark. No, I'm... <laughs> that is so dark. Listen, that's so Lord, dark. forgive me, please. Thanks. <laughs> that is so dark. All I'm going to say is that this royal family confuses me, right? <laughs> You know, the children are happy. What more do you want? Uh, what? I, just, I just think this is damage control. It There's is. something big that's coming on that Oprah interview. This is definitely damage control. It's going to be people of Britain. All I know is that I am ready got my popcorn on <laughs> deck. I'm hey. going to be chewing all of that up. And on that note, we're going on a short break. And when we come back, we have Springboks and Sharks player, Lukanya, for the, all the sports roundup. Don't miss it. <laughs> Welcome back to Tower on 3. Thank you very much for rolling with us tonight. And let me tell you something. Our guest is a super Springbok rugby player. He captains the Sharks in Super Rugby. And he's part of that World Cup winning box squad. Had us all crying, tears of joy. And from that moment, he's emerged as one of the key players in that national team. He joins us now to give us a closer look into the man behind the player. Help me welcome the man of the moment, Lucanio Am on Trending SA. Hey, Good now. evening. Good evening, good evening, guys. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Well, it's an absolute pleasure. I mean, let's start here. Last year, you became captain of the Sharks. I can only imagine the amount of pressure, the responsibility that actually comes with that role. Let's talk about the lessons you've learned about leadership, being in that position, um, and also just about yourself and life in general. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I think, um, you know, the day when I was told that I was going to be captain, it came as a surprise. Uh, but I, I knew captaincy, you know, comes with a huge responsibility. And I, I think it was one aspect that I had to grow in. Uh, I think as a player in the, in the team, I was a leader in my position and what I was the expert on. Um, but not, I didn't see myself as a, as a captain or as a leader that, that could take the side. So, um, yeah, I took the, the responsibility and uh, I think I uh, grew immensely with all the, the mentors around me and, and even the other senior players in the team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Lukanyo, um, I understand that your mom is initially against you playing rugby, like, you know, most Kosa moms, basically. <laughs> so, how did you go about changing her mind about the game? Oh, but also look at your face yeah. light up when I say Aww. anything about your mom. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, as we most most mothers, you know, want to watch their kids playing rugby. Um, but yeah, for me, uh, as a, a young boy, uh, I was in a school that didn't have many codes uh, in terms of sport. We only had cricket and rugby in winter, so I was kind of forced to, to play rugby at school and um, my mom was really against it. Um, I think I got injured in my first year uh, starting uh, this, this rugby game and it was like no more. Um, but the older I grew, I think she noticed how much passion and, and love I have for the game and um, once she did, she backed me from that day to yeah, this day. Beautiful. Well, we thank her for actually, you know, coming to terms. My mom never did. I was, I was great with That's rugby. That's why you're here. Ah. <laughs> really? Where's the proof? Really? <laughs> Look at you. We are quite the musical bunch on this table. Mo, the DJ, Lute, the hip hop maestro, me, the award nominated musician, wow. and Abigail from Head Days in the Club. <laughs> 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 so, Listen, I'm not going to deny anything. <laughs> so I'm curious, when you're about to get on that pitch, what are those, give me three songs that get you amped up. Mm. Whew. Mm -hmm. um, Come one. Actually, I, I don't really listen to, or I don't have a, a playlist, I would say. Mm. Um, sometimes I do listen to Guijo songs. Um, Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, Shout some out. some games are more chance than others, yep. uh, and you can't really sing and and be vocal around other guys. So I listen to my Guja songs on my phone, mm. um, and depending on on a game at hand, sometimes I'm very relaxed. Um, mm. I listen to, I would say, old school. My old yes. school. I'm a '90s baby, so my old school is about early 2000s. Shout out! So <laughs> Shout I out! To those, um, I like that music. So. 
Um, yeah, uh, but I don't have any specific uh, playlist. It depends on the mood on the day. Oh. Mm. So old school is definitely the vibe. But taking it back to the field, Lukanya, who would you look at? And I mean, I know you've interacted with a lot of great other great rugby players, but who do you look at on the on the field and think, "Geez, I wish I could play like that guy," or "I wish I had that skill." You know, is there anyone that you look at in that way? Um. Yes, you know, as, as rugby players, we, we analyze each other a lot. Um, and growing up, we used to idolize, uh, you know, certain players. And for me, I used to enjoy watching a lot of players who had flair, um, not specifically in my position. And now in a wing, you know, 15, any any player that had flair on attack, I, I used to watch and, and you know, and, and try to do their tricks or practice their tricks. Uh, and even today still, you know, we, we watch each other a lot. We, we compliment each other, uh, whether it's your opponent or, or guy in your team. So, um, yeah, we, 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 we do analyze each other. We do um, compliment each other. And, um, yeah, for me, it's, as, as I said earlier, it's, it's not one specific person. Um, but whenever you see something great, you acknowledge it. And... If you want to improve on your game, we, we, we do work on it. So, yeah. That's... Well, it being TSA, we've compiled a list of some of the players that you've played with. Mm -hmm. Now, I want, I'm going to give you a name. And I want you mm. to give me a name that pops up in your head when you think about these players. So, but please give us something special. Like, give us something very special. So I'm going to give you a name of a player that you've played with. And you just give me the word that just pops up in your head. When you think, when you okay. hear their name, Magazole Mampimpi. Likeable. <laughs> Lovable. Yeah. Lovable. Okay, another one, Spungosi. Spungosi, Chama. Chama. Ooh. Okay, hope he's not married. <laughs> that's, one, that's, one, that's one word you I don't want. Nothing. Oh, that's I wrong with that. Okay, Apelele Fasi. A rock star. Rockstar. Oh. Okay. And then finally, Sia Colisi. Um, <laughs> team environment, a comedian. A com <laughs> I didn't know he, yeah. he had that comedian thing about him. Huh? Well, we team remember. <laughs> we remember so Miss S. Elon. Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, I remember. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> but I mean, what are the other things, Lukanya, when you look at your, your rise, you know, coming up through the ranks, you know, the different levels of the game, it's presented a, a lot of different experiences for you. Mm. But I'm just thinking, uh, what was the moment for you, that career-defining moment when you look back and you thought, goodness me, this is me, this is, this is where I am, where you look in your mirror and you're like, yeah, ndim lo. <laughs> <Team Jan. laughs> uh, I've, I've always dreamed to be here, you know, playing Springboks, being in a franchise rugby, playing at the bigger stage that I could. Um, but I think my, my journey, there's not even one moment where I, I, I regret or think I would, I would have done things differently. Um, I, I loved every moment and I appreciate, I like told. Till, till this day, that's why I appreciate every moment uh, at where I'm at in my rugby career. So, Lukan, your bromance with a lot of players is well known. Um, <laughs> and I want us to actually take a look at this tweet quickly. Okay, so uh, this was Ntan Tatabisa saying, find someone who looks at you like Lucanio looks at Faf. Oh <laughs> so I, that was a very intense moment. There's a lot of emotion over there. There's a lot of love over there. So I want to know, what does a girl have to do to have you looking at her like hey. that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> um... <laughs> Dude, oh, what did they say? He's blasted. Wait, no. what is it? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I can't believe that loot shooting a shot has had hey. you completely dazed and confused. Huh? Typical fly half behavior. Winger. This is like winger behavior. Huh? And even you are failing to sidestep the situation, Lucanio. Oh. Lucanio, thank you so much for joining us and good luck down there in KZN. Go Sharks.
<laughs> well, Abigail, thank you so oh, much for joining us. It was an absolute pleasure, guys. Yes, thank you for having you me. You must definitely come back again and touch us in our studio, Mrs. Oh. Saki. Oh my gosh, you have to go on the bike. <laughs> I cannot with you. I knew it. I knew it. But I'll come back and I'll touch you on your studio. <laughs> and with what? that said, you're out of pocket. Is what you are. We're going for a little breather. We'll be right back. It's sound three. Exciting time. Welcome back to Trending SA for the last time today. So throughout the week, we've been showing you how our good friends at Vodacom keep everyone connected because Vodacom believes that when you are more connected, we lead better lives. That's right. From uh, education to healthcare to the gender-based violence command center to business solutions for growth from families to friend, Vodacom believes that we all need some connection. And I want to find out from you guys, you know, which moment uh, of the connection from the Everyone Connected campaign do you connect with the most? Oh, oh me, 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 me. As a person who lives far <laughs> from my family, I love that Vodacom helps those that are worlds apart feel like they're closer. No matter where you are, you can connect with those closest to you every day with Vodacom. I rely on video calls to connect with my mom, and Vodacom has secure, reliable, and affordable home internet connection for the whole family. Oh, my boy, I didn't know you were such a mommy's boy. Man. <laughs> man. <laughs> well, i got to say, for me, it's the fact that Vodacom... Um, keeps education connected. I mean, can you imagine a world with free education? Well, let me tell you something, Vodacom can. I actually love the fact that Vodacom has created a free educational e-school platform. And guess what? Vodacom customers don't have to pay for data or content when using the Vodacom e-school platform. It's brilliant. All the e-school subjects are available in multiple languages and it's fully caps aligned. And all they have to do is um, just find those workbooks and posters all the help that your child needs to get the most out of their education. I think it's excellent. I mean, uh, we've talked about this a lot on the show and everybody knows that hip and hop are always on the forefront of my mind. So for me, it really has to be the dedication that Vodacom has uh, to become a valuable partner to all as parents by guiding us and providing us with the relevant tools and knowledge to really raise digitally healthy kids with a Digi Parenting e-magazine. And to all the caregivers out there, don't miss out on Vodacom Home's new Digi Parent webinars. Grab the details on the screen right now awesome prizes up for grabs mm -hmm. and those are just some of the ways Vodacom keeps everyone connected join us again next week for more moments of connection with Vodacom right here on Sa. these days we all need a light in our lives this light is connecting a family who've been apart this light is learners everywhere exploring the biggest library in the universe these lights represent women in dangerous situations, connecting to real help. These lights are people connecting to free healthcare. These small businesses connecting to opportunities for growth. So when you look closer, these lights are not just technology, they are connections for better lives. And we won't stop until everyone is connected. Vodacom. Love, love, this is how we wrap up another exciting edition of Trending SA. If you missed any of our episodes this week, don't worry, sweetheart, we got you. Check out the Trending SA Omnibus every Sunday morning, right here on your home of all things entertainment, SABC3, from the King Loot that you all love. And my, um, I don't even know what. Good night! Wow. <laughs> <laughs>